what up you guys what's going on hey i just want to make my you know best tips tricks just experience sharing my knowledge of what i've learned on spark which kind of you know goes with the other apps in a way some of the, some of the uh, you know tips but for the most part it's mainly spark but again some of them can go towards doordash or something like that <clears throat> and i'm just going to tell y'all in no particular order uh, i am going to probably keep I do kind of have a number one that I do feel like is really important to make sure you don't get your tip jack, to make sure you don't get a one star rating, and uh, just to make sure you don't really piss the customer off because uh, it really does make them mad. Like I've definitely seen it, heard about it, everything like that, which I can kind of understand, but I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, trust me, they do not like it. But anyway, so like I said, I'm going to tell you all 10 of them no particular order and uh just yeah so let's get it going my first one <clears throat> don't be afraid to return the order what i mean by that some people might be the word that they're going to get deactivated or they're going to get in trouble blah 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 but hey if you go somewhere and you don't feel comfortable in that area if you don't you, it's just not a good situation for you then by all means return the order uh you're not going to get in trouble I mean, if you returned orders every single day because you called and said, you know, that you don't feel comfortable, stuff like that, they might start, you know, flagging your account. I definitely wouldn't return stuff every day, but if you're in a situation where you just think the area is not very good and you don't want to get out of your car, you know what I mean? If you don't feel safe, don't deliver to somebody. Or if you think they're, they look like somebody that could report you, or, well, see, that sounds bad, though. If you got a bad vibe with somebody and think they're gonna just first, if something happened, they said something, whatever, and you think they would report you for, uh, you know, basically stealing their groceries, and obviously you can't get deactivated for that. Uh, just if you have bad vibes, don't be afraid to return an order. Uh, I think I've returned maybe one or two orders, so not that many, but I've just not been in that many situations of where I needed to do it, but if I need to do it, I will. But, uh, so number nine, I know obviously it's not possible for everybody, but basically, you know, get a hybrid, a hybrid car or electric vehicle, if that's your thing, but definitely a hybrid. I would, that's what I prefer, if possible. And I know everybody doesn't have the credit or the money to do that, but I'm just saying, literally, like, I don't care to tell y'all this, like my Prius payment is literally 260 and I save that and then some every single month in gas. So the gas savings is literally paying the payment. So it literally pays for itself just for that. And then also once you get it paid off, you can really start, you know, saving a lot of money on gas. So, uh, you know, number eight, you know, just smile and be nice when you see a customer, you know? I've seen some drivers just not be that nice or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't know why you would do that, but if you have to, fake, fake the smile, fake the being nice but you know definitely i wouldn't suggest being rude or anything like that so uh, that's just you know just smile trust me a smile goes a long way definitely with something like this <clears throat> so uh you know have so number seven have realistic expectations like you know some people like yeah trust me i've had days where i've made 150 bucks in four hours so that's like what we'll just say 160 bucks in four hours and uh, that's 40 bucks an hour but then i have days you know where like basically you know i have days where i can make 300 pretty easily and then some days boy i gotta hustle grind sweat everything for 150 bucks and it's just like dang man so make sure you know just have realistic expectations so you don't get you know lose your motivation to work lose your motivation to do spark stuff like that and uh you know just have a daily goal I think it's always good to have a daily goal if you're doing it every day. Uh, my daily goal really is 175 for sure. I don't really like the 150 days anymore. I mean, that's okay. That's like my bare minimum. But yeah, I like the 175 to 200, 225. But yeah, just have a daily goal. And then number six, you know, kind of goes with that. Just get an early start as possible. Uh, Y'all watch me for a while, y'all know. I kind of I kind of used to work like the one to nine shift, and now I've been getting on like the I don't even know seven. Usually in my area, 
you know, you can get Sam's Clubs and all that before 7, which I don't do Sam's Clubs, but, um, yeah, you can get, basically my drops are usually 7, 14, unless it's a drop in order, so, but basically now I've been working like, you know, 7 a.m. to like, I don't know, I work a long time, but you could work like 7 to 3 and make good money, whatever, just, an earlier start's gonna help set your day up no matter what, better, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, so, if possible, get an earlier start. And then, you know, this one, you know, most people should know, but some people still don't do it. But, you know, help the people, the Walmart employees that are bringing your stuff out there. Trust me. They like the help. And um, if you're doing it full-time or part-time, like every day, whatever, like, if you go there enough for them to remember you, they will remember you, trust me. And I do feel like most of the time, most of them, you know, when they see me, they definitely try to help get my order out quicker. So, uh, I can tell you, if you're rude to them, they will definitely make sure you get your order out a lot later and uh you know they can report you and stuff to spark to try to get you deactivated so uh same thing with the smile i guess just always be nice and it'll go a long way so uh, number four like don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone <clears throat> so with what i was just saying about sam's club just because i tell y'all i don't take sam's clubs and i don't take in-store pickups you know that doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't Maybe the in-store pickups is for you. I mean, the good thing about the in-store pickups for sure is there's usually no wait time. Usually all the stuff is in there. You get the order, you can go in there and get it, or some stores even bring it out to you. But like, there's no wait time, and usually there's no there's no tip, so you're guaranteed your base pay. You ain't gotta worry about getting your base pay or your tip jack. And then, you know, so, you know, that might be for y'all. Uh, definitely me and a Prius, you know, I have definitely have thought about it, but my market's good enough to do shopping orders and curbside, so I really don't have to worry about that. But, you know, you could do, you know, the $30, $40 ones, four or five a day. You're talking about 200 bucks right there just running them in-store pickups. You're just dropping off packages. You ain't got to, you know, mess with customers, really. Sometimes they're out there, whatever. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a simple process for sure. A little bit different than the curbsides or the shopping orders. But that's what I'm saying. And same thing, like, I love shopping orders, so at least try a shopping order but if y'all don't like them then don't do them and then of course you know i'll just give you a tip real quick if you've never tried a shopping order because people are the most you know weary about shopping orders i think for your first order you should try to like get like maybe five or ten items and you know the units they call them units uh just five or ten items and like 15 20 units and what that means is like it's duplicates of the same item but yeah i wouldn't suggest getting no like 40 unit and 80 item or 40 item and 80 units as your first shopping order. Uh, that could definitely, you know, stress you out and make you not like shopping orders. But just try every order that Spark has to offer and, you know, see what you like. Just don't trust 100% what every creator is telling you because everybody's different, right? So, um, you know, number three is just, you know, uh, this one, you know what I mean? Like, take an extra 20 seconds, like puff the bags up. I talked about it on one of my videos, but. Uh, I will attach this picture, but basically, you know, you just put all the stuff on the ground and puff the bags up and like the milk and stuff like that. Like I always set it up and like the cereal boxes just set it up. Don't leave it just laying on the side. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it, you literally take 20 or 30 extra seconds and uh, make a good first impression because when they see it and I mean, you know, they don't really want to see their milk and uh, their milk and their cereal, you know on the ground laying over i know it doesn't sound like a big deal but it's also not a big deal for you to take an extra 15 seconds to do that and i promise i think it helps and i do have a 4.9 customer rating so i feel like i know what i'm talking about a little bit and that's when i start doing these tips i'm giving y'all because i used to have like a 4.4 and i started doing these tips and uh it started going up so uh so it kind of goes with what i just said you know number three just Take care of the stuff like you'd want your stuff taken care of, you know. I'm not saying you got to wrap it up in bubble wrap, but, you know, nobody wants their chips squished or their milk or their bread squished or just all that stuff slung around. Like, just be careful with it. It takes you literally an extra 30 seconds, and uh, that's not that big of a deal, if you ask me. And so I got one more. I guess it's probably my most important tip. <clears throat> uh, I mean, most people should know about it, but... The fact that I still get notes all the time that says this, 
tells me obviously people are still doing it so uh definitely 100 percent. you do not want to do this this is one of the quickest ways to piss a customer off get a bad rating get your tip jacked and i mean they might even call a spark on you and say this is ridiculous you've done delivered to them a couple times and you keep doing it uh it really pisses them off but do not block the door as you see on that picture again where i put the groceries on the side make sure they can open the door like uh, i literally one time was delivering my order and somebody pulled up with an in-store pickup and these dudes literally just <laughs> put the packages like on the glass door and the person couldn't even come out of their house i had to run over there and like move it for her and i said she's like what idiot did that and i was like i don't know somebody pulled up and just leaned it against your door so now she would have to take the side door to get her package or something like that or just tip it over like do not block the door that is the absolute one of the worst things you can do and so i got one more bonus tip for y'all of course watch your boy get all the knowledge from me all the entertainment tips and tricks and uh just have a good time but yeah that's just my 10 you know just helpful tips tricks just little things i've learned uh as i've done 800 deliveries so uh y'all know i stay killing it out here and uh hopefully y'all learned a little something i mean most most of the stuff is pretty much stuff people should know but uh sometimes just putting it out there in the air gets uh people to think about it and realize it and just know i'm doing it maybe they'll start doing it but anyways hopefully that helped y'all out and if it did uh, if you didn't subscribe you could subscribe it really helps push the channel out to other people and uh hit the like button and uh hey i appreciate y'all so much yeah buddy hey what up you guys hey i was wanting to say uh i was gonna cut this in so i was just gonna say like i told y'all first impression you know i know it don't sound like it should matter but like i said first impression they come in there and look just little things you know really make a difference so uh, with the picture I showed y'all there, I couldn't show y'all because they didn't have any of these items. But, like, when there's chips, bread, or eggs, I usually put them, like, by themselves. And so when the customer comes out, you know, I said some might not care. But some are like, hey, they put my eggs and bread by themselves. So, you know, they got that little thought that says, I'm trying to take extra care of their products that needs a little extra care. You know what I mean? And that goes a long way just keeping your tip. So, uh that's something I meant to add in there. Hey, what up, my beautiful people? What's going on today? It's your boy Levi, and we're doing our ride along. It is a uh, Saturday, and uh, I didn't have a video on Friday, so I don't know if you'll know, but Walmart Spark let out a banging incentive. 24 trips. We got Saturday, Sunday, Monday to do it. And uh, yeah, I told y'all about that. But yeah, we got Saturday, Sunday, Monday to do it, and it's 144 bucks. So I was gonna take Sunday off, but I'm gonna get that incentive and then take Tuesday off for sure. So um, yeah, so that's the plan. But uh, you know, I don't know. I think sometimes after a while, your body will just eventually say, "Look, you know, we need some sleep." You know, and uh, my body just basically—I don't know. This morning. I just basically slept in, you know, like slept, slept in, <laughs> like I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, so we got a really late start, we're just now getting out here, um, we got like a offer at like 1.30, and it was a curbside, which was an absolute banger, or I probably would have denied it, tried to get a shopping order, but $45 for 7 miles, I think, or something like that, there are two bigger orders, but um, I can get y'all OG drop off, most likely, but uh, yeah, 45 bucks, I mean, and it was ready there ain't no way i could deny that so uh hopefully after this and get some shopping orders get it going but yeah i was wanting to do eight trips a day hopefully we can but we definitely got a little bit of a late start but and now that i'm sure that y'all know now that i slept in today i didn't get up until like 11 so i usually you know to go to the gym and stuff get out here as early as i can i usually get up now at seven so i'm sure you know when you do that your body has a really hard time going to sleep like tonight so i brought my sleeping medicine with me i'm gonna take it at like nine o'clock and hopefully it puts me out tonight uh if not i'm just gonna try to have to suck it up tomorrow i guess or something and just come out here anyways early i don't really know but because i would like if i could do eight today and like 12 tomorrow then that would be dope 
because my daughter and them are actually going off Monday, something with school or something, I don't even know. So if I could just do like four trips on Monday, and then, you know, just do that real quick and then um, take Monday, like half the day off and then Tuesday. But anyways, I wanted to talk to y'all today. I think I'm going to do my 10 best tips and uh, advice to succeed on Spark. Of course, this is my list. Everybody's list is going to be a little different. Just things I've thought about, things I do that I think that helps me, you know, enjoy my job, be happy about it, like it, and, uh, yeah, just help you, you know, succeed, keep all your tips and stuff like that, so, uh, we're gonna drop this off, I should be able to get y'all a drop off as long as the customers or something ain't outside, uh, it's definitely a bigger order, that y'all like seeing me do the bigger order, so, this is definitely one of them, which we have two of them, but I always do the trunk for the drop off, but, anyways, I'm gonna drop this off, and, uh, I'll get back with y'all. Hey, what up you guys? Hey, we did that uh, huge order as y'all seen the $45 curve side and uh, It's one of the people I actually knew and they were outside and they helped me so I couldn't record OG drop off So I apologize. I thought about asking like sometimes like be like do you care if you're on camera, but <laughs> I Don't think they'd want to be on camera. I mean, I ain't alive if I ordered groceries and somebody asked me that I'd be like uh, No, nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> like you know what I mean? So I get y'all drop off probably sooner or later uh, I know I don't really do curve size much, but 45 bucks, I definitely did that. But anyways, we got a $25 uh, shopping order, so we're only on our second order, only bad thing, but we are also at 70 bucks, so uh, we just, I would love to do eight trips today, but just got out here too late, you know? Um, so, you know, as long as we get out here early tomorrow, we'll be good, but I guess I'm just going to have to tough it out and somehow get up. Uh, hopefully the sleeping pill works. That's all I can say. Uh, I'm gonna take y'all shopping with me and uh, let's get it <laughs> hey what up you guys hey we got that shop for easy piece of cake and uh got it dropped off and that's kind of near the store and this order popped up six mile 24 dollar uh curbside asap order and it's usually the fastest store with the uh, curbside so i was like you know what so let's get it let's bang it out real quick and uh then we'll go back over there and try to get some shopping orders i mean you know, I don't mind curbsides, definitely the ASAP ones that are, and from the faster stores. Now, of course, you can get an ASAP order, and they're so behind, though, you still sit there for 30, 40 minutes, but pretty sure they should have this one here pretty quick, so. Uh, worst case, they make me wait too long, I just unassign it, and then we wasted 10 or 15 minutes, but it is what it is, but I think it'll be fine. It's not too big of an order, but uh, anyways. You know, that's what I thought about, I don't know, I guess just being a dad now, I don't think I would have probably thought about it before, but, um, you know, I think I told y'all before, there's a lot of homeless people that hang out at, like, the main Walmart where the shopping orders are coming from, 
And at first, I was just like, I don't really know why they'd be hanging out around there. It's a wealthy area. But then I was like, well, duh. It's a wealthy area. So, I mean, I do see them getting a lot of money, to be honest. So, but I don't know. I just thought about it and I saw one of the ladies in there shopping, one of the homeless ladies. And I was just like, man, like, I can't even imagine being a father and having my daughter, like, be homeless or on drugs or something. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's just a really tough situation and uh, I've kind of seen it from some of my family to be honest with y'all uh, they just been in situations whatever but like I don't know it's a lot easier to say like oh you can't take care of them you can't house them whatever because you're enabling them you know what I mean but when it's your own daughter I feel like it's a lot tougher of a situation to actually be in that situation instead of telling somebody else that they couldn't do that but like I'm just saying I don't know Obviously, I'm going to try to raise my daughter right. I mean, I don't do anything crazy like that, and neither does her mother. So, um, you know, hopefully she stays on the right path. But sometimes, you know, people get on their own path and get around people that are doing the wrong thing. But I don't know. I'm just saying. Obviously, this is 20 years from now, 25. But I just don't know how I could. It would be very hard for me to let my daughter be homeless or whatever just with the predators in the world and just all the bad stuff and blah 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 like but then again you know you can't enable them technically but I don't know that just jogged my mind when I seen that and just thought about that so yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all but anyways we're over here we're gonna pick this curbside up and maybe I can get y'all drop off on this one uh no promises obviously you never know if customers or whatever gonna be outside but uh yeah this will put us at like 90 bucks so a uh, pretty good start, I would say, for as late as we got out here. And that's three trips, so, um, I don't know. Eight trips ain't out of the ballpark right now, I would definitely say. So, let's see what happens. up you guys hey, we just got this freaking clutch shopping order slash i don't know depending on how you look at it it's literally two loaves of bread for 2.8 miles so uh obviously i know the store very well so i just walked in there grabbed them real quick walked out blah 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 drive over here easy as pie but i don't know if you missed that video but you know they're kind of lowering the base pay slightly but i think they're only doing it on really small ones i think because it seems like on the bigger ones they're fine but like this one right here would usually be 1950 point blank period like that used to be the lowest base pay but now they're kind of taking a dollar or two off but you know for the time i feel like it's still worth it i just feel like it could be a slippery slope as in they see people are taking a little bit less off the shopping order to lower a little bit more and be like oh well they're taking that too so let's just see how low we can go which i'll tell them right now without the sin of an under 15 dollars i would maybe deny it i don't know that's the thing see they don't really know and i don't really know so they're like well screw it let's see how low we can take these shopping orders until people won't take them so i don't know i need to figure out what it would be but i don't think they're gonna go that low but I just think on really, really small ones, they're just like, well, we can lower it a little bit, which, you know, kind of makes sense, but kind of don't, if that makes sense. But anyways, yeah, we're going to drop this shopping order off, and uh, I'll get back with y'all. You are fake news. Hey, what up, you guys? Hey, we are killing it today. Uh, you know, I got here, I got my order at like 125 on my way driving here, which it was a curve size, so, you know, we didn't really get it until about 150, so... Uh, but it's 630 and I think we're at like 170 so yeah, we're killing it bro and I think we've done I haven't had much waiting time today and uh, yeah shopping orders too obviously helping we're about to be on our sixth trip so eight is definitely there I don't see why not I mean maybe nine honestly if I got a late you know ASAP order again I'm gonna take my sleeping pill I guess at like eight or nine o'clock I just I gotta be a little careful I guess not to take it too early while I'm driving but I don't think it's gonna <laughs> put me out like that but I guess you never know but uh yeah man shoot that's how I always tell people for real like I told you with your expectations like man 
but today's been pretty easy no wait times really just get my order out here quick good shopping orders just a good day bro but then you got days trust me where you're like oh my gosh dude what can go wrong next it's just all kinds of struggle so you know take the good with the bad and just you know it ain't for everybody definitely if you're full time so if your market ain't that good or it's just you know stressful or uh you just don't like waiting because i know like my sister like she couldn't stand just sitting there for 30 minutes waiting you know whatever which i can kind of understand but it's not that big of a deal to me of course i always have other things to do like edit my video whatever watch youtube whatever but i don't know it's just not for everybody full time but so but if it is for you full time and hey i said i ain't gonna lie it's probably my most enjoyable job that i've ever had so I'm just gonna ride Spark out until in the gig apps really if something was to happen to Spark until I can't make my money and then you know I guess maybe go to W2 or who knows uh, like I told y'all I definitely plan on trying to get into some vending machine own some vending machines which ain't crazy money but hey it all adds up that's all I can tell you trust me <laughs> trust me on that it all adds up so uh anyways we're gonna get the shot for and uh I'll get back with y'all